Hello everyone, E here. Welcome to another LEGO video. I have something very special to share with you. The time has come. And this whole three broomsticks model is finally complete. Let's get to it. It's actually pretty strange to see and observe this working area so clean without any spread parts and just all the chaos being neatly stuffed in its uh, sorting compartments and as you can see there and some of you that were following me on instagram or were following the uh, community page on my youtube i already have a space on my shelves for this marvelous creation it is now completely finished. As usual, I'm going to make this final video showing you, mentioning every little detail that was added since the last time. And you can expect in the near future, maybe not necessarily the next two weeks, so not necessarily the next update, but very, very soon, depending when I'll be able to uh, actually save the time to do it. There will be a special video where it will only be showcased the whole model probably with just some uh, music as a background or without me talking or just a little bit of shorter video that just gives you an overview of various angles of the building inside and outside and also you can expect a lot of uh, neatly made pictures on all my social media instagram tiktok uh, discord youtube all the jazz so without further ado and without further explanations let's talk about everything that has changed so much to show you here is the front side we'll start with that and i believe the first things that you will notice are these lamps for the time being, as I mentioned before, I have kept it very um, following the original model where there are only four lamps here and over here there is none and it's very absent but I'm not really sure whether it would look better with an additional lamp or not but for the time being it's going to be like this. I tested various different ways to make these uh, night lamps and I feel like this is a good way to do them. Uh, I tried with the black tops and pyramids but I feel like this represents uh, the snow a bit more and it also would be logical that these top parts of the lights would be covered with uh, snow. Also as promised I added these pieces over here just underneath the base of the windows to represent uh, again the snow that however does open the idea of well shouldn't these pieces be present everywhere especially on the first floor which is a valid point and i'm actually thinking about it and uh, maybe i'll add them eventually but for the time being no also as you might notice the chimneys are also there and that's something else that might need some tweaking only talking about the colors because most of the models that i've seen the chimneys follow the same color as the building so it would make sense for these to be masonry dark tan bricks since i actually don't have those on me now and they are in the mail uh, i have done them in medium nougat but at the same time the medium nougat kind of place with the other places where we've used this color so I feel that both could work once I have the necessary bricks I will probably make them in dark tan and see if actually I like it better I have gathered some opinions from uh, people that are within my community and I'm getting mixed opinions some say that this actually looks a lot better because the chimneys pop up a little bit more which is true some say that it would probably be better if it's a dark tan. I myself can't really judge without really seeing it. 
but it's quite possible that I actually leave it this way. This does open a few uh, other questions. What should these pieces uh, be? Because we do have medium nougat for this piece, but we don't have dark tan. We have, I believe, dark tan for this piece, but not medium nougat. And for this uh, clip here, uh, I think we don't have any of those, I think. So it is a pickle. However, uh, it's something that even official LEGO says don't really care about. Uh, this whole idea of how the chimney should be done, I've taken from the diagonally set from over there. I believe that's the, uh, the Ollivanders. And even if you notice their chimneys, they have used uh, gray and black, which for me is very absurd. If I was a Lego designer, I wouldn't have let that set pass the way it is, but I guess that is fine. So if it's okay for an official Lego set, why shouldn't it be okay for me? Uh, however, if at some point I find that these uh, other colors can be fixed, for sure, I will fix them instantly. Now let's turn it around and show you the back because I don't believe you have seen it. As I have mentioned, I didn't want to go into too much detail fixing the back because after all this will be displayed from the front and not, you won't really be seeing the back. When you turn it backwards, you will want to remove this whole thing so you see the interior. Still, I wanted to put a little effort to it at least so after I figured out how to hide the window here and the distance between the window and the actual roof platform, I decided to add a few layers. And after I covered everything with white, then I added an additional layer here that kind of is zigzagging over here. And then there is a third layer that is around the window. Ideally, perhaps I would like to add this layer, make it a little bit bigger and not end like this, but kind of go like this and then maybe just a little bit more again, but not really needed. And I feel like even like this, it's totally fine. And with that, I think let's go inside the building. A quick showing on the first floor, which mostly you have seen from last time because it was pretty much ready. It really amazes me how heavy this thing is uh, with both floors. When as I pick up this thing, it's uh, I should probably uh, see how exactly how much exactly it weighs, but it's probably between four and five kilograms, which is pretty hefty. One thing that I uh, didn't mention for some reason I don't know why, but after uh, after I was uploading the last video, I noticed that I didn't actually mention this guy here. Yeah, I mentioned this blue wizard, but not this one. So this elderly chap is writing music. This wizard. And uh, as you might suspect, I use various Dumbledore pieces and other, uh, well, this beard is not from a Dumbledore, but I think I used Dumbledore's face and one of his uh, hair pieces, but it's not him. It's an elderly wizard that's writing music while having a drink. Uh, I felt like I should mention that because I, I didn't mention him last time, which is, uh, yeah. I did some color changes that were mentioned last time like these clips here were in different color and whatnot uh, one of these horns was different but all that was fixed i believe something over here also was a uh, you know an appropriate color that's also fixed and one thing the slithering banner that was over here i changed it it's now um on the second floor and there is a little menu here that you might see on every tavern that's what that should represent over here everything is the same with all the minifigs in their respective places and the samurai jack easter egg which i find to be really cool now let's go to the second floor here is with the back side removed and i've actually removed the front side as well because it will be better to showcase everything and um, to be able to show you all the little details a lot better with the lighting but you can easily have access 
only by removing this back side here, which was the idea, because you only remove the little roof here and then everything just slides out. But I have made it so you can easily remove the front side for, well, better access. So where should I start? So much going on here. Uh, let's start with from right to left. Over here, I was really happy to be able to solve this issue with the bathroom. And if you remember, we were forced to have the side here with the door to be placed at a weird angle. So these both, both of these doors can kind of be opened. And I had an issue with how should I cover this? I don't want it to be open once we remove the cover. So using basically two pieces that are more specific, this one that should be in reddish brown, but turns out this piece in reddish brown costs about two, three euros. And it's very, well, not very rare, but kind of rare. So I'll have to order that one separately. The other one was this piece here, this slope which really this angle this really helps us to complement the angle of the door and then i just added uh, this very simplistic system with over here and over here these studs basically we just place this here like so and very easily just slots in which is great and can even just open the door well i just broke the door but you know what i mean and and see it but if you really want to reach you can simply remove and you can see the uh bathroom so really pleased with that moving on after i fix the door over here it's a bit different i have uh, made it a little, bit, a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and also if you remember once i have put this here there was this gap somewhere around here that was annoying me it was because of the arches so what i did i took everything apart and i lowered these two arches by one plate so this can really fit so now there is actually a way to just take it out like so and it kind of slots in that whole room full of interior we're gonna get into it in a little bit Continuing here, uh, I just placed this emblem here for the three broomsticks. Kind of a representation that this room is private, as it should be private. And then we have all the storytelling over here. Well, where should I start? Perhaps fixing this little banner here. There we go. Uh, let's start with the focus, the poker table. Well, uh, I actually filled all the slots. You guessed it, that's Cat Bane over here. That minifig that I was uh, complaining, that was so expensive, about 40 euros. Uh, my good friends at uh, Sorting Station helped me out and they hooked me up with this minifig for a uh, discount, which I'm really grateful. So if you would like to go check Sorting Station out and order some really good pieces, very professional and very uh, reliable Brickling store, you can go and purchase from them so as I'm talking I'm gonna be spinning the uh, mock a little bit just to so you can view from various angles uh, I know that my uh, subscriber Brick Matit that was very vocal about this was suggesting Lulu Bagman as one of the uh, other participants in this poker game however can you recognize who uh, this is this blonde minifig over here. Probably most of you are not going to guess, but this is supposed to be Matt Damon's character from my favorite poker movie, well, and largely considered the best poker movie, Rounders. It's uh, from the 1998, I think. Very good movie with Matt Damon and Edward Norton, John Malkovich. Really great movie. Anybody who has even the vaguest interest in poker should check it out. So that's my little kind of homage to uh, that movie. And I felt that actually Matt Damon should be here, Matt Damon's character. And that face, just, just look at that face. Doesn't this look like Matt Damon's face? I recently watched uh, the latest uh, Matt Damon movie, Air, 
about Michael Jordan and really great movie. You should check it out. Anyway, so with the poker game, I kind of, um, once I fixed everything like that, you can see little tables because everywhere when you play poker, there are some little tables here and there where people store their drinks. So I had three of those spread around. Also over here, uh, I added some other storytelling. We have Tonks and uh, Moody and this person from the ministry that is hunting Grindelwald, who is has his wand ready because uh, once he sees that this wizard is uh, has spotted him, all hell is gonna break loose. Then uh, we have uh, more characters from uh, Fantastic Beast, News Commander, blah blah blah. Felt like they should be present here. I wish I had the News Commander with the uh, jacket, you know, but I don't have that one. I only have this News Commander. But once I get that torso, I might just replace them because it kind of feels weird. Um, corresponding with the other minifig. Now over here, uh, <laughs> I actually wanted this table to be the Disney Princess table, especially after I got the latest uh, Disney miniseries pack. And I want to put all the Disney princesses they have here, but it turns out after checking actually that the Princess Aurora that's present there and the princess from the uh, Prince and the Frog their their legs are like their slopes you know they're not legs that you can actually bend and it feels like a crime to place random legs on them just so they can sit uh really considered doing that several times just so it's the princess table and you just i don't want to do it maybe i will look for pink legs and uh some strange kind of green uh, for the other princess, just so I have the princess table, but I just didn't want to do it. It feels like a dishonor to those figures because they, they look so good, that whole series. So I ended up putting Mulan and Pocahontas from that series that actually can sit, and Princess Jasmine, which I had prior to that. And I just filled the slots with uh, two DC girls, Bad Girl and Black Canary for the time being, but might turn out to be the super heroine table. Maybe because I have plenty of those, but I really like these three uh, Pocahontas and Princess Jasmine and Mulan. They're really, really great minifix. Other than that, I have uh, this uh, uh, server here, uh, this um, waitress that's uh, walking around tables with this uh, torso that uh, I found at the flea market a long time ago. It really looks like a um, native clothing for my uh, country, a Bulgarian native uh, kind of dress, which I really like. So for some reason, I just put it there. As you can see, there's some flowers here and there. I saw in some of the pictures, that ma uh, mainly from the third movie, there are some flowers and plants around uh, the uh, whole inn spread out. Uh, but I kind of didn't want to, because if you see, if you go back to those films, they're very dark. They're very dark plants, like black, very dark green. And I didn't want everything to feel so dark everywhere. Um, so I, on purpose, I placed more kind of jollier plants. And I did various uh, different styles, like this little one here. And we have a different one over here. Most of them are hidden, like you can't really see them in detail but there's just so much stuff on this floor that it's normal and over here in the back and that's why i have uh, actually removed one of the windows completely over here there is armor stored and you can see it over here on all three windows and i have placed different kinds of armor as additional ornaments here and there so we have this one here in black this here you can see and behind hagrid there is a third one over here that is difficult to spot right now from this angle, but it's there. Other than that, there is plenty of stuff on the walls. This shield that I found, some different uh, an anchor, all sorts of stuff that I felt that would make sense to be here. Uh, different horns and fangs and tusks, whatnot. And then this little wheel piece. This wheel piece has actually been with me for Ooh, 
I want to say at least 25 years. This is from a castle set from the uh, late 80s or early 90s that uh, my father bought for me a long, long time ago. And although the set is not complete, some of the minifigs, including actually the middle helm here, which is actually very damaged. You can't really see it from here, but that middle helm just behind Scrooge McDuck, that's also uh, from that same castle set. And I thought that these little moments from my Lego past should be included in the set. Also, this chandelier was one of the last things I did for this mock. Didn't really look it up, I just um, did whatever I could with the pieces that I had. Obviously, the chandelier couldn't be too big, and I had to be careful how exactly high it would be uh, because it, it sticks kind of to the sides, and as we said before, nothing should stick from this kind of pyramid shape because otherwise it hits the roof on both sides and i didn't really want it to be too high or too low because otherwise you kind of it hides the poker table too much you don't want to do that and over here there is uh, this uh, ship steering wheel the slithering banner was moved over here onto this shield and there is the third broomstick representing the name of the inn Last but not least, I suppose, the interior in the private chamber of Madame Rosmerta, where I have placed the corresponding minifigs representing the scene from the third Harry Potter film with Professor McGonagall and the Minister Fudge. And this uh, room, I actually had a lot of fun with it. I thought it would be very stressful to do uh, justice, but I actually had a lot of fun to do it and really happy with the end result. Again, there is a lot of stuff that I saw from that scene in the third film, which is actually like 15 seconds or so, because Harry is like under the invisibility cloak, it's, everything is smudgy and foggy, it's really terrible, but I made, I watched that scene probably like 20 times, made a couple of screenshots, kept looking at it, where everything was positioned, and I did my best to really um, do it justice with the carpet, the furniture, a wardrobe, uh, a fireplace over here, which actually does correspond with the fireplace underneath. Also the lamp, so it looks like the lamp in the scene with uh, the shelves with drinks, with the um, different, some sorts of different hats over here. Over here even added this little very old, again, homage to my Lego history from this old, old set from the Belleville line when I was a child. This set is from there, and over here actually I was planning to put some flowers, but I just decided not to put them for the time being, but I have left the spot over there just behind this window. And there could be a little vase or vase, whichever you prefer, for some flowers. And yeah, there's also the um, uh, music recording thing over there in the corner just behind McGonagall from the advert calendar. I just replaced the uh, dish with a gold one instead of a black just to, for more popping colors because everything here is so tan and dark tan and brown and just was looking for more colors that would pop out. And I just added some random pictures here and there. And this kind of came to be very strangely. These uh, hangers over here where Fudge, you can see, has hung his uh, hat and his umbrella, which I felt was... Uh, really nice touch. And once again, you can see it from here, or you could obviously just remove it from here and also have access from over here, which I feel is uh, very nice. One thing that uh, didn't happen is I believe I mentioned that, um, remember there is a fireplace over here. Madame Rosmerta, actually, there isn't a stud for her to sit for the time being, so she just gets knocked over once I turn this. But yeah, the fireplace here is above this one, as it should be, makes sense. But uh, the other one should have been here, but I decided to scrap it so I can add the um, tables. I could have probably shifted them a little bit there is some space here, but I didn't want too much stuff to be here. I want these doors to be able to open 
easily. Otherwise, it would have been, well, kind of weird and doesn't really, we don't really need a fireplace here. It just wouldn't really add as much as this configuration does add. And by the way, this is a Ninjago banner from the Dragon set that I actually have one of the few Ninjago sets that I actually did buy for the set itself. Really like the Dragon. And other than that, that's the way it is. And wow, wow, just, I'm really pleased with this. Um, let's put everything back together and I will give you some final thoughts before closing. Here it is, assembled once again. Over here, this cat again from a while back. There in the poster, really wanted to include it. I think I mentioned that last time. Also, the snow obviously is fixed everywhere. Could be added with more detail, but I don't feel it's necessary really. Oh yeah, and this little part here, if you notice how over here is sticking out, I fixed it with this shield, which is kind of the same, but I used this kind of hinge to kind of navigate it so it's the proper angle to cover this. And uh, yeah, I feel that this is all complete now. It has its own place over there, but because it's a bit too white, I will remove probably these white um, plates so it fits perfectly on the shelf. I believe only this one stud will be sticking out uh, once they placed on the shelf. And when the time comes to actually make the whole Hogsmeade village and make this whole diorama, it will be added. Uh, we'll, we'll add the plate again, obviously, but there will be all sorts of white plate laying around and all these details will be added and multiplied as they should be. Well, this project has taken me, I just checked, three months. Three months and many people ask me how much does it cost? I don't know, <laughs> a lot. Uh, I would say 500 euros at least, maybe more, uh, probably more. If you add all the custom minifigs, all the minifigs from other sets that are placed here, um, and all the special parts and I feel at least 500 euros. That includes the two original sets that I had and used as the initial framework, but um, most of the other parts I actually had. Um, so if you add actually the parts that I did have in my inventory to begin with that I didn't have to order at all, I shudder to think how much this would cost. But the more alarming thing is the time that was spent because the money that was spent was a lot the time and effort and building and thinking and planning and testing and taking things apart and trying again, it probably goes near to 200 hours of labor. And uh, it is a lot of time to invest. But I for myself am very happy that the end result is very satisfying to me that this is done. And now the question is raised that, uh, well, I did this, should I do Honeydukes? Maybe, probably, I don't know, but it won't be straight away, I need, a, I need a break. You see that set over here? I just wanna sit and build something by instructions. And uh, before I go to Honeydukes, I will focus on fixing the great hole and doing all the stuff that you already know that I'll be doing with the texture and all that stuff. It will take a lot of time, but I have the pieces, so it just, it's not dependent on pieces or waiting. It's just for me sitting down and slowly fixing everything and upgrading it to the new layout. And as final words, I would like to thank everybody that uh, helped me in one way or another to uh, make this. Uh, the people, the few people that did make suggestions to uh, me uh, outside of my channel that I've shown this to uh, some good friends and relatives that they said that what can be added or improved uh, and I'd like to thank that everybody that contributed with parts you know who you are uh, really grateful for that and I what can I say I'm really happy that this was actually finished 
and three months does sound like a long time but for me actually i thought it would take longer uh for this last update i spent probably the most time building maybe rivaling the the last video also was a lot of time spent but i just wanted to finish everything i didn't want to make uh, most of the things done and then just to have to do another video just to show you the final product so i'm really happy to say that everything is done as you can see the whole working area here has been cleaned up all the pieces are in their bins and they are uh, all sorted so this project is over thank you for uh everybody that has been following this for the last three months and uh, i hope that my channel really brings something to you probably the only thing that would be more satisfying to me done building this uh, set is for one day to see somebody that has made something even better bigger and a little even more creative and opt optimistic and ambitious than this and to say that they used my effort and my time and my uh, imagination as their inspiration uh, you'll see me very soon and once again i'd like to uh, thank you for subscribing following me if you'd like to follow me on any of the social medias uh, give me a like comment whatever you like and you can afford and before i go once again a reminder that a lot of pictures will be coming uh, and also a special video where there will be a showcase without me talking but from the whole thing from uh start top to bottom where you will be able to see within probably i'll try to make it up to 10 minutes or less just so you can see the whole model thank you once again once again once again i will see you all very very soon happy building stay healthy and bye for now <laughs>